US-backed forces in Syria have announced the full capture of Raqqa, a city that stood for years as the Islamic State's most famous stronghold and its de facto capital in Syria. The battle for Raqqa began in June, and since then we've seen this US-backed militia known as the SDF edging through the outskirts and ultimately surrounding with just a few dozen militants by the end in the city central stadium and forcing them into a final stand. The advances were supported by a punishing campaign of US-led coalition airstrikes, and these have been praised by people as part of the campaign as a vital component of that victory. But the city and its civilians have also paid a desperately heavy price. According to monitoring groups, hundreds of people have been killed, and huge swathes of the city have now been shattered beyond recognition. Although the city really had diminished in strategic value for the Islamic State by the time the SDF announced its capture, the loss of Raqqa does mark a deep symbolic blow to a group which had really made this the stage from which it showcased its most brutal forms of rule. With the Islamic State on the retreat across what remains of its crumbling caliphate, all signs point to the group shifting back to its guerrilla roots. At its height, ISIS commandeered a territory the size of Belgium. Now thousands of its militants have been killed, many thousands more have surrendered, and its senior leadership is in hiding, believed to be in eastern Syria. The question now is whether the new rulers of Raqqa and other former ISIS territories can heal the deep wounds which helped the group rise in the first place, or whether they will let them fester.